Tomorrow, the Georgia Supreme Court will hear a case that could determine whether key evidence used to charge three women in a veteran's death can be used during trial. And Jennifer, as you know, that evidence we're talking about is secretly recorded video of nursing staff ignoring a man's pleas for help inside of a nursing home. As Reveal investigator Andy Parati explains, it was an 11 Alive investigation that led to the nurse's arrest three years ago. And we want to warn you folks, some of the video you are about to see is very disturbing. This is the sound of a man slowly dying. 89-year-old World War II veteran James Dempsey begging for help and unable to breathe. His nursing staff not responding. Instead, laughing when he needed help the most. All secretly recorded by a hidden camera inside his Atlanta area nursing home installed by his son in 2014. They watched with sheer horror. Mike Prieto represented Dempsey's family in a now settled lawsuit against the nursing facility. So it was the videos that told the story, not the clinical record, so that we know what happened. And then all the horrors that Mr. Dempsey had to live through. The video first exposed by an 11 Alive review investigation in 2017. Tonight, law enforcement are crediting 11 Alive investigator Andy Parati for uncovering the hidden video that has proven to be so crucial in this case. Exploitation and intimidation. As a result of our investigation, a DeKalb County grand jury indicted three women nurse Lois Adjaman with felony murder, nursing assistant Mabel Terman, and nurse Wanda Knuckles were charged with trying to conceal his death. We were stunned. Sherry Boston is the county's district attorney. We would not be able to prosecute this case without that video. And those videos in my mind leave no doubt as to what happened in this case. I have a Two and a half years later, the case remains on hold. The nurses' attorneys have unsuccessfully appealed to lower courts, arguing the video was recorded illegally and therefore not admissible in court. Tuesday morning, their attorneys get one last shot, this time arguing in front of the Georgia Supreme Court. Why should the public care about this case? I can't imagine a public that would not care about this case. And there's no better way to determine the factual basis for any claims of abuse or neglect against the elderly than an ability to see the video. Over the past few years, a handful of Georgia lawmakers have tried to pass legislation that would require nursing homes to allow families to install cameras in their loved ones' rooms. It's never passed. Now, Georgia's highest court could set new case law that will do it for them. This is something that we should all get behind, regardless of whether you're a plaintiff's lawyer, a defense lawyer, whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican. This is a debt of gratitude that we can show to our elder population, and they, they deserve it. The nurses and their attorneys have declined to be interviewed for this story. All have previously denied any wrongdoing. Tomorrow's oral arguments are scheduled at 10 a.m. You can watch live on the court's website.